Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna take you along with us on a little staycation, is that what they're called? We have come to the Cave Hotel in Canterbury and just in a little dressing gown because we're about to have a massage each. I'm going like relaxing. Sam wants like a deep tissue one, which I don't know why anyone would ever want a deep tissue massage, I'm not gonna lie. Relaxing is the perfect thing for me, but we've just checked in and then we're gonna go out for dinner and like, just have a nice cute wholesome night away so thought i'd take you with us and yes i hope you enjoy the massage people actually come to your room here so it's like an in room treatment so just kind of waiting for them to come i think it's in like 25 minutes half an hour so, yeah. that kind of thing but for the time being i'll give you a room tour in a second but it's so cute here it's such a nice winter vibe like i definitely say it's a winter hotel it's not giving summer it's like this kind of time or like November time I would say but it's just beautiful so as you enter the room it's this like kind of open wardrobe bit here which is actually forcing me to be slightly more tidy ignore my jumper that I've just taken off there um but I've just got my outfit Sam's hung his stuff up and I've just folded all of mine because it doesn't need to be hung a little sneak peek oh my gosh guys I've got these heels from White Fox these are the ones I was talking to you about beautiful and then the rest of the room is just like this it's so cozy Sam's already jumped on the bed because it's really comfy apparently and then just got these nice big curtains everything is that chair is so comfy as well everything's so cute I also appreciate the fact that this chair the light has like the mirror has got lights on it and you can turn it different shades I really appreciate that and then out here is the golf not that we're playing any golf i wish i think sam probably wishes he was but he's not we can't anyway because of his injury but this yeah is the room just got the office on as always <laughs> but it's really really cute i definitely recommend coming we've been here for about half an hour and i definitely recommend coming it's just really cute nice cozy vibes so yeah and sam has been here to play golf before and he said that the food in the restaurant that we're going to was so good so I've got high hopes. I think you can probably tell by my face and just how relaxed I look that we've just had our massages. We're about to head down to like the pool area. We've had just a bit of a chill after they left. They were like a mum and daughter. Can I just say the daughter was absolutely stunning. Um, but my massage was so nice. Like so nice, I was so relaxed. She gave me a face massage. Like I had so, I had a back and shoulder massage, like neck massage and that's kind of my favorite i don't really like my legs being massaged i don't know it kind of just freaks me out a little bit and she said did i want a head massage and i was like oh i literally washed my hair this morning like all of my hair like i might just rewash the front bit around the sides because when she was doing like my neck and my face obviously like oil got in which is like completely fine um but she was like okay i'll do like a bit of a face massage instead wow she was like massaging around here and like around my jaw i felt like she was like a real life gua sha like a living gua sha is that what it's called but like oh my god and she was going like this oh, it felt so nice and my face feels so nice and just moisturized and glowy oh it was incredible and then you know when they do like if you've had a massage before when they'll kind of massage your neck but their hands are like here and your head is in their hands your head like rolls around oh it's just incredible honestly if you ever want to treat yourself or like you have a birthday or a or not Christmas is coming up but like if you've got a birthday or a special occasion coming up like I'd 100% recommend like even asking for a massage if there's like a nice hotel near you or something like I think it's such a luxury thing obviously it's like quite expensive so gift is probably quite a nice idea but I treated Sam to his little massage today on a little staycation when they came in they were like oh what are you here for it's like nothing it's just a Tuesday felt like <laughs> having a nice little Tuesday yeah it's such a nice hotel the massages are so nice we're at the cave hotel i don't know if i said that um if you it's in canterbury we've traveled like about an hour an hour and a half to get here but it's so nice i'd say if you like want to go for a birthday trip like anything want to treat someone drop hints for someone to come and treat you this is beautiful and i'd 100 percent recommend a massage they were both so lovely as well i think they're probably the people that do it all the time so if you had them if you like get a massage here you'd have them but it's so nice so nice but yeah now time to go to 
the pool area and then get ready and go out for dinner. Okay, I'm ready for dinner now. I've got this top from White Fox on. It says like White Fox here. Kind of looks like Prada vibes. I love it. Bag from Zara. I've got my precision thing jeans on and then got some heels <laughs> to match the top. Basically, they're like pointed toe heels. Oh, the ones I showed you earlier. So you know what they are. Um, yeah, we're just getting ready now to go out for dinner. I'm really excited. Sam is absolutely starving, so he can't wait to go out. Um, but yeah, this is just what we're looking like. I did actually leave my coat in the car, which probably wasn't the best idea. So I don't really know if we have to walk outside. Sam thinks we do have to walk outside. We absolutely freezing, but oh well. Also, the makeup is looking really nice. I actually have managed to get my routine down to like just over 20 minutes to do my makeup, which is great. And Sam and my mum were like, that's such a lie. Like, no, it's not. I, when I film my makeup routines, you can actually see that it takes me 23 minutes or something to do my makeup. So, ha, I have evidence that it takes 23 minutes, basically, if I'm doing it, like, taking time on it, really. So, yeah, quick, good makeup routine that I've got down. And I don't know why I'm always out of breath when I vlog. I feel like I get really excited and talk really quickly and suddenly I get out of breath. But, yeah, I really like my outfit. It's really giving, I'm just in the bathroom. The bathroom, actually, I didn't show you a little tour. I have messed up the sink area. This is my Refi makeup bag, still going strong. If you watch my Manchester vlog, you'll see, you'll know like, what I'm talking about by that. That is the makeup bag that I take for my like tools, like makeup tools, like eyelash curler, beauty blenders, brushes, blah, blah, blah. And then this is the shower. And that's the toilet area. Sam, do you want to do a little outfit of the day? Oh, for you. For you. Outfit of the day. Wait. My own hoodie. This is my hoodie. Do you guys remember I bought this and someone's actually stolen it? My hoodie from Represent. Yeah. Jeans with a hole in. Cargo <laughs> with a hole in. Cargo's with a hole in from Zara? Yes. Uh, shoes bought by Daisy from. Where'd you buy them from? Daisy. You bought them Nike. yourself. Nike. Nike. Yeah, I did. Nike jumbo and then off white t shirt on holiday. Ooh, BG. <laughs> that was bought by Daisy. Um, it's all bought by you, Daisy. No. I don't buy clothes for myself. T-shirt bought by me. Jumper is mine. Cargo's... You, you persuaded me to buy me. Yeah. Sam is like the opposite of a shopaholic. He just hates shopping. Like, he just hates... I haven't just, bought, I haven't bought clothes voluntarily for myself for about three years. Probably ever, to be honest. Yeah. Actually, let me show you the pointed toe heels on. Oh my gosh, I can't see what I'm doing. Like, I love them. I think they're so cute. So cute. So we are out for dinner and I got a burger of, it's like a Korean smashed burger and I got chips, obviously got a mac and cheese side and then Sam got this like meat platter which looks really not good. my kind of thing. Really so good. If you're a meat lover then that'll be you. Two Diet Cokes because we don't drink. I'm also being really quick because I don't want to get a copywriter because I feel like this music is copyright music so I will talk to you once. Huh? So goodbye. So goodbye. <laughs> We have just got back from dinner. I couldn't really feel much because there was so much music, like music that would be copyrighted. And then it would mean that the video is like copyrighted, which obviously isn't ideal. So I'll just explain what happened with dinner. I know that's probably so exciting for you. But we had, I showed you the burger. It was absolutely unreal. Sam's going to get it for lunch tomorrow. We're going to go back there for lunch before we leave tomorrow. And then Sam had these chicken wings as part of his meal and they were so good so i'm gonna get the chicken wings oh, tomorrow no, for lunch i don't even know what it was called yang niyum i'm guessing it was like a korean vibe food which we know is my absolute favorite so got that and then we got this chocolate fondue thing to for like dessert so we got like melted chocolate and then we went out you had to go outside because there was like a fire that you then toasted marshmallows on there were lotus biscuits strawberries, banana, blah, blah, blah. So that was really, really lovely. Pineapple, yeah, pineapple, which I thought was a bit weird because who dunks pineapple in chocolate? Like I put pineapple in a pizza and I wouldn't dip pineapple in chocolate, but oh well, it was absolutely lovely. 100% recommend even going there for like dinner if you live around here and don't want to stay the night or something. But yeah, really nice to smash. Burger was unreal, unreal. But we just got back, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> I took a picture of our drinks. Sam and I both got a Diet Coke. Like, 
what, what what dinner looks like when both of you don't drink but it was just tickled me like everyone everyone else was having like these cocktails and things and we were sat there with like, two pints of diet coke which was fantastic i mean i love a diet coke so not complaining whatsoever obviously i realized that kind of all my lipstick has come off and it's just my lip liner really on my lips so ignore that but it's nine o'clock as i said and i'm so ready to get into bed so i'm gonna take off my makeup and get into bed and do you know what i forgot cotton pads so I don't know how I'm going to take my makeup off. There's like small face cloths which I might use like, or I might, I don't know, I, I feel bad using like a towel. I cannot use a proper towel. Oh, there's like toilet roll. Maybe I could use that, I don't know, or tissues. don't know. I'll work it out. But yeah, I'm so just ready to be so crazy and the beds are so comfy. So comfy. Okay, we've just checked out. We're sat in this lounge area. We are the only people in here, so I feel like I'm talking really loudly, but I'm not. But I'll show you the lounge area, it's so nice. So yeah, we checked out at 11-ish, and then we're going for lunch at 12. So we've kind of just been chilling in this like lounge bit for like 45 minutes, an hour, and then we're gonna go have some lunch. I'm debating whether to have the burger that I had last night, because it was so good, like, I mean, so good. Sam's gonna have it, because he had like a little bite of it and said it was unreal. I'm gonna get an Oreo milkshake as well, because, I saw them yesterday, they are huge. You'll need to share it with me. It was, it was like that. literally this size. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't this size, but like, it was quite some size and it had cream and stuff on the top. Like that is a meal in itself. I'm not actually gonna get the chips. I didn't really like the chips yesterday. I did. I, I don't like when they the put the unnecessary chips. seasoning on a French fry. Yeah. Like for me, if I'm ordering French fries, I want them plain, like I don't want seasoning, and they didn't even say they had seasoning on them. No. But but I was gonna get sweet potato fries, but they were seven pounds. <laughs> I'm not paying seven pounds for sweet potato fries. I'm sorry, that is ludicrous. But the mac and cheese was eight pounds. It's a relatively big size, though, no? Yeah, but I'm saying I'm only paying one pound more for. Yeah, true. Uh, actually, I woke up. Sam woke up in the middle of the night and went and got some water. And when he woke up, I was parched parched but the bed oh my god i haven't told you about the bed the bed, mm. the bed is what i need to say it was the comfiest bed ever like the sheets were like silk but they weren't like they weren't silk but it was like you were sleeping in a cloud it was incredible like incredible and then sam got up to have some water and i woke up and i was yeah i was so thirsty and i was like i'm just so comfy i don't want to move so i just went back to sleep but i think i didn't really drink anything and you're meant to drink quite a lot of water after you've had a massage yeah. And I've had none. It's, it's not exactly it's like normal for you. No, but it's not because I have been drinking more recently. Also, guys, actually, no, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, I'm scared. Not? Say it in another video, do it definitely. I'll let you know soon. <laughs> I'm being the most annoying person at the minute. Yeah. I'd hate me if I were you. I can, I'll tell you, it's happening on the 19th, the 21st of February, so. It's not, you've not got long to wait, but it's so exciting. Ah, sorry. <laughs> we searched it on Tuesday, the 6th of February. I am going up to London. I'm having a facial with Charlotte Tilbury. Not herself, like, it's a Charlotte Tilbury facial. Um, I'm so excited. I've never had a facial before. In my massage yesterday, I think I said that they gave me like a face massage. And because before I never had a facial because I used to always think I had quite sensitive skin, but as I've got older, I've not really got sensitive skin. And I really like, I like use the Charlotte Tilbury products anyway. So I'm clear with that. Um, I'm guessing they have used Charlotte Tilbury products. Be if it's a Charlotte nice Tilbury facial, yeah, but it's like in Chelsea area, which is so nice. So I think we're going to go up. So I'm just going to go for a coffee or something. Cause I think it's like half an hour facial. It's not long at all. So I think Sam's going to go for a coffee while I'm having my facial because he was NFI and then I'm gonna meet him waiting out for lunch or something which will be really cute. Oh, Sam is oh yeah Sam's obsessed with this feature in the lounge they've got these like um, diffuser things. I think it's a, what's it called an air like a diffuser. But it's not a diffuser. It. You know when they sell them and like like I just know that Molly May used to have one in her room from Neon for Bambi. Oh, well, no. Like it's like an air purifier. Is that an air you guys will know what I'm talking about, what the word I'm trying to say is. But we've got that and we've got like an orange light underneath it, so it looks like fire. They're all in the restaurant as well, it's sick. But this is the lounge, it's really cute, like it's a nice cosy vibe. I mean, why is there blue light over there? I'm sorry, that pretty great to me. I hate 
blue light like I feel so passionately about like Christmas lights being warm white if you have like blue light Christmas lights I just can't get on board with it so like any blue light for me it just takes all that like, coziness away so I don't know it just ruins the vibe a little bit in my opinion but apart from that like this is just like warm and cozy like it's just I wouldn't personally have it in my own house but it fits the vibe the blue light like look at that it just ruins it but apart from that absolutely beautiful and you can order like drinks these are little ipads you can order drinks to wear us up and they'll just come and give them to you also for the first time ever i think i got something from a mini bar yesterday and a packet of walkers salt mini crisps for £2.50 spend it on money so i'm shaking his head at me £2.50 for some walkers crisps it was just like a bag of crisps it wasn't a big bag